Today, I'm going to be doing a very different kind of long uh, code thing that I just kind of want to do because I thought it was fun. There's a, the pararescue um, jumpers is a, a branch or a career field in the Air Force, and they have a physical aptitude stamina test. It's called a PAST test. Um, this is one of the things I want to do just to stay fit. Um, and so I was thinking it involves underwater swim, a freestyle swim, a mile run, uh, pull-ups, uh, sit-ups and push-ups and you all do this all within a branch this is the perfect thing for a countdown timer in my mind because what you could do is um, calculate the amount of time that you have to do all this stuff and then put it into a web app and then just basically um, iterate down and that could be your count off so you could train um, by yourself with that and so that's basically what I want to do I want to have a a button that says start and then maybe like give you a minute to get ready because it's an underwater swim. And then there's a period of rest in between the underwater swim. The underwater swim, you have a minute, a 10 minute rest period after the underwater swim. So then the clock will say, okay, 10 minutes now we're underwater swimming or we're, we're resting after our underwater swim in which we had six minutes to do it. And then uh, you do a 500 meters freestyle swim, 30 minute rest. And then at, at the end of the 30 minute rest, I want the app to say, um, bling, we're ready to go. And then you do a 1.5 mile run in under 10 minutes. And then you have 10 minutes rest. Um, and then a pull up. Uh, and then you have two minute rest and then sit ups and then two minute rest and then push ups. And so I want to just make a simple website that does the calculations for you so that you could just go to this website, hit the start button, and then just work out according to this um, past standards. So let's get started. Um, I'm First off, I'm in the terminal. I uh, listed out my desktop is very empty, but you can see I'm on my desktop. So I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to call this the uh, AF past um, uh, robot. We're going to make it big letters like that. Okay, so you see my folder popped up right there. So we're ready to rock with this. Um, I'm going to change directories into it. And if I list, there's nothing in here, so we should get started. So I'm going to say, I'm going to touch uh, index.html, which means I'm going to start a new file. If I list that there, now I've got an index file. And so I'm going to open dash A, and I'm going to open it in Google Chrome. I'm going to open the index file. So now we have our empty file. And so now I'm going to open the same file with Adam, which is my text editor. And I'm using the tab button to jump through the uh, file names real quick. So now we can just call this one like um, past. And this is just to kind of prove that um, we're working. So here I've written a little HTML. And if I refresh, we're here. We're good to go. OK, good. So there's going to be a lot of pieces up here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is make it so it's ready for the internet, just uh, HTML. Uh, these are just standards, I guess. You don't actually need them for some re whatever reason. They're always here, but uh, you've got your head element. You close your head element. You've got your body. And you close your body. Um, cool. So this is the same thing, but now it's following uh, stringent. It's following the conventions of... Um, of like how to write HTML5 documents. Okay, so we probably want like a button, right? And I think you can just close buttons like that. Now we have an empty button, but I want to make it say something. Uh, start training. And then when we click this button, I want it to start things. Okay, so let's give it a little uh, clarification here. Um, past. Okay. The past Well, actually I can just do it like this. F physical ability stamina test. This is the physical is a tool to help you train for the past test the past test 
test is is the physical screening test to join the Air Force Special Forces. Okay, so now let's see, we'll save that. Now we've got a very basic description of what we're working on here. Now, I really want to just get the physics of it worked out before I worry about the styling at all. So that's what we're going to focus on initially. We just want to make it so that it works. Um, so yeah, start training, it has a button. Um, and then we want to have a div called, uh, I'm going to make it an ID equal to a clock display. And then I'm going to close this div. Okay, cool. So now if I refresh here, clock display is not going to have anything in there, but let's make it go um, zero, zero now, just for this, just to start. 